This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raz El Kane. I'm back with another tour review, and today, Nucleus from the Legacy United line uh this is in Fernac universe which you can see here and it's a really fun it's already out i played you know actually in the car on my way back home from picking it up uh yeah so yeah um you know same type of boxes uh this is starscream no hotshot uh this is the new uh you know hotshot of the same wave uh, which I did not get, but I'm pretty excited for this. Um, I think the only um, Infernac Universe character I won't be able to get uh, will be the uh, the you know the one that comes in at three pack with a new Thundertron. I have no interest in pick up, picking up that whole pack, but uh, we'll um, you know maybe if I find one on uh, marketplace or eBay, somebody selling it. Uh, loose um definitely um because i do enjoy all the rock type characters uh they're pretty interesting um so you know we'll see uh if uh, maybe i can get lucky but before i do the review i just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel and also if you can help the channel if in any way shape or form you can subscribe uh become a member uh that's uh, something that uh, we recently achieved i'm really happy about that uh so if uh, if you're able to go ahead Line up, uh, and uh, I'll be, you know, it, it's it's just so much fun to be able to achieve uh, that level. And I'm hoping to get the 1000 by TFCon Baltimore, which I'll be attending. So, um, you know, if uh, you're a fan of the channel, you're going to Baltimore, um, you know, come, definitely come and tell me uh, that, uh, you know, you, uh, you watch this stuff and everything and tell me what you think about it. I, you know, I would really appreciate that. But for now, let's roll the intro. And here we are with Nucleus, which is a very good retool, I have to say. It's not a repaint, well it is. But it's also a retool, so I'll bring in uh, Magnius in a moment and we'll see uh, uh, the uh, main differences. Um, the instruction, as usual for Asbro, uh, mine came uh, bented and damaged. Thank God I'm not a mint instruction collector. I'd, I would have been really upset. Uh, but again, you know, standard stuff. Nothing to be disappointed with. Uh, they show you where, uh, you know, there's, oh man. Is that a out of the box now? Like they have like when you unbox him, you have to, this is the indication like this is out of the box. This is what it looks like. I don't think I've seen this symbol before. That's new. Anyway, and then you have all the weaponizing, armorizing options. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take a look at that. Uh, box, really nice box art. I do love the look of this uh, this car. Uh, a lot of people are comparing it to the Simpson mobile. Uh, they did the same thing with Alita. This one does have more of a Simpson mobile look, but the Simpson Simpson mobile was like longer, way longer. So, but that's you know that's fun. Uh, I like the head sculpt that you have on this guy. Kind of reminds me, I don't know, a mix of a Cylon and. A, Sometimes you have like Romans uh, in movies. I don't know if actual Romans wore that kind of a, a horse tail, uh, you know, fin on top of their head, mohawk. Uh, so yeah, visor, that's cool. Uh, yeah, no, I like this uh, help sculpt. Uh, the weapon is kind of weird. But yeah, there you go. And then you have the armorizing option with uh, odd shot. And it seems to be, yeah, it's pretty much the same part as we had with uh, Magnus. But this, the colors, man, it's so cool. All right, you have the uh, canopy, the window, the top, whatever you want to call it. 
uh, hollow, but a uh, nice uh, gray. Uh, this guy is like three color. It's, he's like white, gray, and silver. So, and gold. You have the gold highlights. Silver here. And uh, the rocky, uh, you know, and it's, again, a, kind of an asymmetrical look. Um, so, I mean, this looks the same. But the interior here, you have differences from each side. So, that's cool. Uh, this is the weapons, which you can... Well, I mean, separately, they're going to go somewhere like that on top of the car. But then you have, well, all the hollowness. And, you know, they're like, so he's rocket propelled. Uh, but then you can put them together like this. They make for a dumb weapon. I have to say, I didn't like much the uh, Magnus weapon. I don't like this one bit. It's, it's, it doesn't even look like a mace or anything i don't know so uh, it's tight though so you know that's good and then you have this guy i dig it uh very tight uh wow does the head rotate i don't think the head no it, it has to be stuck oh yeah there we go so it's it's on a very tight joint on my copy uh but it's a really nice head sculpt I love it and then he has like rocky ears I guess or maybe that's kind of the side of the helmet I don't know but it looks really good bit of waffle right here that's deplorable um, but in from the front he cleans up real nice from the back well you have you know the legs but again it's not a waffle it's just not very filled um, I do love the uh, the molded details on this guy. Uh, this is symmetrical. Uh, you have the same pattern on each wheel. Nice silver with the gold highlight. Can't, uh, can't deny that this is looking pretty cool. Uh, with the dark gray wheels, uh, you have the shoulder. Uh, again, this is symmetrical, but you do have different design for the forearms. They're not exactly the same that's cool and here the abdomen you have a uh, another a symmetrical look so attention to detail was really good on the, this figure I'm trying to see can I bend this yeah wow that's a tight uh, tight joint are the tie the same yeah tie are the same mold and then you have wow this is really tight and then you have a more robotic look than you had with Magnus so if I bring him along, he had like, you know, the knee pads uh, or the knee guard, uh, which were more uh, robotic, mechanical, but everything else was rocks. He has more of a uh, mechanical feel, even the highlights uh, on the side. So he was more rock, uh, but it's the same uh, crotch area, just repainted, same design. Oh yeah. Um, what do we have? Um, oh yeah, the. Uh, no, this is not clipped properly. Okay. Uh, the arm plate is it the same? I love the color of it. Uh, is it the same design? Probably. Sorry, I'm trying to find both of them. So, yeah, same design on uh, this piece. So that's just a straight repaint. But I do like the, uh, like, I mean, well, it's kind of back heavy today. I don't know. I love this figure, the, the, the gray, you know, with the toy hacks decal that I added. Uh, looks pretty good. But this one is more like, I don't know, more flashy to an extent, maybe more menacing. Uh, maybe it's the eyes, the, the helmet. I don't know. But I do like that. And then you have different feet. He had two toes, this one has a shoe. So, eh, kind of neat. Uh, on the side, different look for the uh, leg guard or the, the wheel cover. Um, highlights uh, in uh, gold and while he had uh, nothing. So that's cool and it's a different, uh, the whole design is different. Uh, you can see that the, you know, this is different as well. So. 
That's cool that they're not just doing straight repaints. I'm really happy with that. And it's pretty much it for details. Like nitpicking details to, you know, see what's different. We'll show in car mode. Maybe we're, we're going to find new stuff. Um, so I love the, you know, silver, silver, silver here, uh, the gold everywhere, uh, dark gray, or I mean, light, dark gray here, light gray here, and then whitish here uh, with the blue eyes and looks fantastic. All right, let's uh what do uh well let's compare them with a couple other things and before i forget articulations uh this guy if i remove this has a very tight head sculpt and it won't go well it, it does it yeah it would go all the way but and you know what no there's a neck guard here that prevents the head from uh doing any tilt or moving around and it's it's not even on a ball joint it's kind of a mushroom peg so yeah uh so because everything is attachable you have your full ferris wheel right here you have a rotation at the elbow you have a rotation at the hand because of the transformation and then you have a back and forth like this you do have your merry-go-round no problem so that's uh always a standard now do we have a Johnny Cage. Oh, you have a beautiful Johnny Cage. Does it stand? It does. Fantastic Johnny Cage. And then you have a... Uh, well, you have a kick. Well, hmm. Because of the design on that peg here. Oh, and the removable factor of the whole thing. No, you don't have a kick forward. Neither legs. And then, but you do have a nice kickback and you have a very tight, more than 90 band. And then you have a tilt. Well, because of transformation, you have a uh, forward and back. And then you have a nice enough rocker. So there you go. Back to your regularly scheduled program. So here is Legacy United Infernec Universe Nucleus with Masterverse Battle Armor He-Man, Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnus, and MP Sunstreaker. All right, I'll, I'm going to put this guy in alt mode and uh, give you a tour of that. Okay, we're going to dive right in with the comparison because it is a very different alt mode. Um, so of course the weapon is not the same, so the top is not the same. Uh, this is just an add-on. This, I think, doesn't hide the feet really well. Uh, but, you know, it's it works. And there's a little hole here that you need to put the extra uh, peg and clip it. And it's it holds quite well. Um, you have the different design at the wheel. Uh, actually, both wheels back in the front uh, this is the same of course a different window you do have the same design here that you have here same thing here uh, but then here uh, there's a you know uh, more pronounced this is you have like little uh, pipes going here and uh, while here you have extra headlights and it's a different uh, grill this this one this one is I really like the look at this one. This he has the spike to I guess ram people, and then you have but you have this big. I guess you have it hit here too, but it's showing less that big hole because of the color. This is like super flashy, but you do have a nice uh, a nice grill uh, nonetheless. And then from the back, well, it looks uh, different because there's spikes here. Uh, while this is more like a, the, a flat heel that you have. So yeah, so these are the, uh, you know, quick glance difference between the two. But this one, I think I have a harder time lining up everything. Or maybe because it's white, the, yeah, I think it's the color makes it that the, you see the panels more clearly. So you, know, you can see all the lines uh, more evidently. Uh, you know, it's not a deal breaker, but it's annoying. And I don't know why, but he's a little looser in alt mode than Magnus. But it still looks really good. I mean, you have, 
I think I probably would have painted this one white, uh, the same as here, uh, here and here, just because it breaks so evenly. This is a nice highlight, um, you know, with the silver and, but I think I might have made this silver and this silver as well, just to keep the color unified. That's just my thought, but everybody's entitled to my thought. And from underneath, you have a, uh, the head full of waffles, um, nice wheels. He rolls fine, you know, even on this flat uh, surface. Uh, nothing is, you know, you know, coming out underneath that prevents, uh, you know, a good roll. So, yeah, no, I like it. And now I guess uh, we're going to have to show you the gimmick of the uh, armorizer. So... Let me deassemble all the pieces, come back with a bot that I can actually equip and uh, show you what we got. So here are all the parts that we get. So you have the weapon, you have the wheel covers, you have arms, the shield, the arm plates, and then you have the legs, which the legs don't have any pegs except uh, right here uh, on top of the knee. So I don't think that's like, cause the other, uh, they had a gimmick where, because like you could remove them, uh, but it was a um, like a regular five millimeter port. So I don't know where this can go, but we'll see. And the arm, and then this is the leftover that you have afterwards. Uh, kind of a hoverboard, but I don't know. Uh, and then for this experiment, we're going to use Blaster from um, Legacy or Kingdom. And uh, I'm gonna raise the camera a little bit. There you go. And uh, I choose Blaster because he does have a lot of ports. So that's always good. So first you have the extra arm gimmick. Uh, you do have nice place for the uh, covers so any way you want them you can put them on any, any direction uh, can we go above here for yeah we could go above you know it's an option uh, the shield you can put pretty much anywhere but Let's say we're going to put it in his hand. Oh, it doesn't really work well in the hand. All right, so let's give him a shoulder shield. So you're going to go back down. You're gonna go, there you go, shoulder shield. Uh, the thing that you have two pegs for the legs doesn't really work well. So, yeah. I mean, it's good for the stability of the figure, but it's not that great for the end. Uh, and now, I don't know if I showed it properly because I wasn't looking at the camera, but here you go. You have the back, you can place the arms and then have him hold, uh, I don't know, one of the weapons, which is, yeah, there you go. This can serve as a secondary uh, weapon holder. Um, you have this, which you can use as a weapon, or again, you can put on in the hand like this come on always on camera eh? there you go so now if you want you can shoot with this I mean maybe it wasn't the greatest idea to take this guy but uh, there you go and this that's the thing now the legs with the other you had like like if I take Magnus no, wait, I'm wrong. No, I remember now. You used, you would make a weapon with this. Ah. Is that what this is supposed to be? Hold on. Okay, well, fun fact. They show you in the instruction that you can remove the legs. They don't show you what to do with them. Not that I saw. Maybe it's a hidden mode. Uh, but, I mean, you could still, I don't know, use them um, on the weapons. Not even. 
Because you used to be able to plug, I don't know. There's that plug here, and that would go here, or this way. But, I mean, you could wield it like this, and that's... Oh, no, you, you have to get all the way here, so that's not going to work. All right, well, forget the legs. Then, you know, they're shown in the, the, the... They don't show you in the instruction where to actually place them, so I guess it's just something that um, people will have to experiment with, like uh, Bud Bender Orange. So anyway, that's the Armorizer gimmick, and probably I pick a wrong bot for this, but uh, I don't feel like reshooting. So there you go. So that's the Armorizer gimmick. Now let's put the uh, Nucleus back together and uh, do the uh, final thoughts. So there you go, guys. Final thought. This is the team so far. I love all four of these. I know I'm probably going to miss out on the fifth. I'm hoping that they do more of these Infernac Universe characters. Um, you know, somebody mentioned in the show that there used to be also uh, trees and lava uh, creature and stuff like that. I mean, this is kind of lava, but uh, or even this guy. But I would like to see some of those tree. Imagine a transforming tree, you know, or a vehicle made out of wood, like those old. Ah uh, oh man, what was that brand? Volvo, or. You know, those kind of wagons back in the 80s. My uncle had one with the wooden panels and everything. Uh, that'd be interesting to see. You know, maybe we could get uh, the Griswold car. Anyway, I do love the, these characters. I think they're well done, well executed. I especially like the asymmetry of them, which is weird for me because I'm a big, big fan of symmetry. Uh, but I think it's uh, very well executed. Kudos, Asbro. Keep doing those. I'm hoping for a Voyager, a leader, a commander. So that could be, you know, just something to think about. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment, low reading those. Keep coming back after I'm on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.